Hey guys, um, I don't know why it took me so long to talk about this, um, but yeah, I played the DLC um, of Outer Wilds. It's still the, it's just, I didn't expect it to be uh, as good or like sometimes better than the regular game. Um, the, like, I, I looked at the reviews and it all said that, like, you know, the, it was just kind of annoying, all the, I guess, horror stuff, which I agree with, but it's not enough to do a negative review on it. Like, the, the, the score on, like, regular Outer Wilds is overwhelmingly positive. And then the DLC is only very positive, which makes me very confused. You know, I guess it's not super confusing. The The horror bits are a little weird. Um, very not Outer Wilds. See, usually what Outer Wilds would do is they would have a problem in the middle of your trying to do something. And then what you have to do is you have to figure out the solution to it. Um, but the horror bits didn't really have that. It was just kind of like stereotypical horror thing where you're in the dark and there's a monster that is trying to get you and you have to like keep your light down and like try to maneuver yourself around. And it wasn't very, it's not consistent, which is the thing. Like in the, you know, I, I guess I won't spoil it, but in, the part of the game, of the original, the planet, the, the sixth planet, I guess I should also talk about this, the sixth planet is the fifth location because it's the, because the, um, the Ash Twins count as two for me, um, but for the game, it's like one, and for other people as well, but they're two planets, okay? They're two planets, so that's that's six planets, and then the your thing. But anyway, in that place, there's a something that you don't know how to get past, and you're scared of it, um, but then you realize that you can just do a simple thing, and then you can get through every single one of those enemies. Um, but in this game, it doesn't work like that. I thought that there was something to do with, like, you having to do a, like, something with the lamp or something, but there's just, you just have to get around them. And um, also, I forgot to mention this in the other video. Um, Outer Wilds is, like, literally the scariest game I've ever played. Um, the DLC, like, did it twice. <laughs> um, because it is, you know, a horror type thing. Um, because <clears throat> it, yeah, it just is. But that's, uh, they did have one puzzle with the, uh, monsters being around and then realizing that you can't, you know, get through. You have to realize something. And that was probably, the for me, the best part of the game. Just that, or not the best puzzle of the game. Uh, trying to use the mechanic of the games to the, the place you're in to get through. Really weird t talking about it with, like, the most vague uh, way I can. Because you'd, like, I'd feel so bad to actually spoil the game. Like, you, you need to play it. I, I don't care if you, you're just like, dude, I'm not going to play it. I just want to hear about it. No, go play it. You have to. It, it's it's necessary, right? It's. I mean, this video, I didn't only want to talk about the DLC because there's some things. Um, like, I watched the lore, some lore of the game, and it's so much just... Just really good. Um, it makes it makes so much more sense the things that I was like I didn't I, I didn't really get some some parts of the main game, but then the lore just explained it so so well and it was so cool. I also forgot to talk about this one part of the like the one of my favorite parts of the entire game, 
where there is a location that you have to get to, but you don't know how to get to it. So you find out how do you get in, and then you get in, and then you realize, okay, what am I supposed to do here? You have to, like, you don't know. Um, and then, uh, then you realize that you can, um, there, there is a specific building that you can go into and then do a certain thing to help you get somewhere else that is more helpful than anything. And then you, you real, you learn how to actually maneuver the building until you get to the place that you're trying to go. And then you realize you can't go there. And then you go back in the world and then you learn how to get to the place you want to go. And, and then I realize that, and it's just so cool. And the, my, the most mind blowing part about it is that the reward for doing all of that, like, like trying to figure out how to get on and then maneuvering the thing and then having to do another maneuvering thing is exposition. That's all it is. There's some, there, there's like something that that just tells you some more information about things. And it's like, I, I, I like, I, I was like looking at the information and just like reading it off and, and doing, you know, the thing you're supposed to do with the information. And then I like realized halfway, like, wait, I did all that for this. And it's amazing. I like, I really wanted all this. And it, it's, it's so weird that all I had to do is give me information. And that's like my reward. And I would, I would be like satisfied with that. And I was so, it was so weird to like think that, man, that's just, that's satisfying. I'm, that, that's like exactly what I wanted. I, I also think that the, for, for the DLC, um, Technically, story-wise, it is less interesting, but that's doing a lot. Like the the DLC feels like the the story part of the DLC feels like a DLC for the story. But it, I mean, it's it's pretty cool. I, I like the I, I like the thing. Um, I mean, they can't really make the story that in depth if they only have one thing to change. Um, um, also, one sad thing that I had to realize was uh, there wasn't there was like no space exploration in the in the DLC. There's only like one thing you have to do every single time you get into a new loop. Um, and I mean, the beginning part of the 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 coolest one of the like my favorite parts of the DLC is actually getting to it. <laughs> You have to, it all, it, the, the only difference between like when you get into the DLC version of the game, there's only one thing that it tells you and go to this specific location to learn this thing. And that's it. <laughs> it doesn't tell you where the new stuff is or anything. It just tells, it tells you a clue on how to get to the new stuff. Um, so you go there. And then you realize, oh, you can go here. And then it tells you some information and you're like, wait, there's something off here. You, you figure out how to get to that place where it's a little off and then you get to the new location. And it felt so satisfying. Like I, I saw the, the weird thing. Um, I man, it's so weird tr not trying, trying not to tell you this because I have to tell you and I can't tell you. It was so cool how the game like j just it hides it from you, and it was always there the entire time. You could have gone there the entire time, but you didn't know, and that's just the coolest part. I think that's, like, it feels like you're, like, in an actual world, because, like, in the world, there's, there's nothing that, nothing is hidden for you, and nothing is for you. You have to figure it out for yourself. And once you know that thing, it's not, the world didn't change at all. It's just that you see it as a different thing. And that's kind of like just how Outer Wilds, the, that's just the game. You go to a place and then you're like, well, when there's nothing to do here. And then you realize something from someone else that, A, you can do this. And then you come back and you're like, dude, I can do that. And then it, and then it tells you more information and then you go to another place. It's so cool. I feel like I should talk about like what makes the DLC better. Um, <clears throat> the DLC, um, it has the 
thing I was just talking about, about the place you go and then you figure out how to maneuver a thing, um, that's in the, the DLC, but like put in just better. I mean, yeah, like I think I think it's just better made there. Um, but like, <laughs> it feels like I'm like talking down to the the thing in the normal game. Uh, I'm not. It's both the most amazing thing. Cause, um, but yeah, in the DLC, that that's basically kind of the entire point of the the entire DLC. Like you have to figure out the three rules to the world. And then once you figure out those three rules, you get to go to a specific spot and learn a thing and then cry about the, the thing you'll see in there. That is, if you weren't dumb and just decided to kill yourself right before you got to see the cool thing. Um, because I, like, for both both um, the DLC and the real game, I missed, like, a com like, really important thing for both of them. Like I thought that for the for for the um, the normal game, what you had to do was you had to like, die uh, as like that's the ending of the game, but apparently not. I I don't know why I didn't think of that. Like, man, it would have been it. I feel like it would have been so much cooler if I actually figured out how to beat the game, um, but I didn't and kind of sad about that but yeah so anyway, anyways as, like I'll obviously buy the game and play the game and yeah that's it play play the game bye <laughs>